One thing I will not tolerate people saying about me is that I don't like beer because I love beer and I always have. Um, I built my platform on being honest with you and what I'm about to tell you might sound like old news, but you know that feeling when you have something uncomfy like sitting on your chest? Well, that's how I feel right now. So this feels like the right thing to do. I took a brand deal with a company that I loved and I posted a sponsored video to my page and it must have been a slow news week because the way that this ad got blown up, you would have thought I was like on a billboard or on a TV commercial or something major. But no, it was just an Instagram video. And the wildest part is that they also sent me one can with my face on it. You might have seen it. And funny story, I had the can around my house, but then I realized, wait, I need to protect this can. So I hid it somewhere. And now I can't find it because I hit it so well. But when I do find it, I feel like it needs to go in a museum, preferably behind bulletproof glass. And you might be thinking, Dylan, why bring it up now? I, I'm bringing it up because what transpired from that video was more bullying and transphobia than I could have ever imagined. And I should have made this video months ago, but I didn't. And I was scared and, and I was scared of more backlash and, and I felt personally guilty for what transpired. So I patiently waited for things to get better, but surprise, they haven't really. And, and I was waiting for the brand to reach out to me, but they never did. And for months now, I've been scared to leave my house. I have been ridiculed in public. I've been followed and I have felt a loneliness that I wouldn't wish on anyone. And I'm not telling you this because I want your pity. I am telling you this because if this is my experience from a very privileged perspective, know that it is much, much worse for other trans people.